As the Hillsborough superintendent says the school district can finally return its focus to educating children. That's our top story this evening. The financial crisis was so severe the state threatened to take control of the district's budget. The superintendent says the district will be getting enough pandemic stimulus money to stay afloat. Our Liz Crawford explains how that $101 million will impact your child. This year has really cost a lot of inks. For about a month now, Hillsborough County Schools has been in limbo. The district failed to meet the state's financial requirements even after eliminating 1,500 positions. But Monday, we have received $101 million that has been deposited to our account, and this is a celebration. Superintendent Addison Davis met with leaders in Tallahassee more than a week ago, where he advocated for the release of pandemic-related emergency relief funds. Allow us to remove any of the angst that currently exists in this community so we can truly begin to focus on children. Keep in mind, this is money the federal government set aside specifically for school districts in response to the coronavirus. So why did it take the state of Florida so long to hand over the money? That's a good question. You know, from from our side of it, it's not the Department of Education that you know, they're just a pass through with this process. So, you know, legislators had the availability to hold the hold these dollars. And um, so with that, the, you know, they wanted to finish the the overall the budget for the following year for 21 22. Davis said the state requires 14.4 million go directly to charter schools. The district plans on using the remaining 86.5 million on academic loss caused by the pandemic. We reached out to the Florida Department of Education to ask why the funds were held up in Tallahassee for so long. We haven't heard back just yet. Tomorrow, the Hillsborough School Board is holding a special meeting to share the financial plans with the public.